Subscribe and click the bell icon for the latest updates and notifications from the Indian Express. On May 14, violence broke out during BJP President Amit Shah's road show in Kolkata. And in the clash that followed, the premises of Bidyashagar College and a bust of Ishar Chandra Bidyashagar, after whom the college is named, were vandalized. The outrage following the desecration of the bust of Bidyashagar, an iconic social reformer known for his contribution to education and women's emancipation in Bengal, has been swift and loud. As the two political parties, the BJP and the TMC, blame each other for the violence, what has come under the spotlight is Bidda Shagur and his huge cultural and historical significance in the Bengali psyche. Bidda Shagur College also finds itself a part of public debate due to its past as a cradle of the independence struggle. Its importance highlighting the gravity of the location of the vandalization. By the mid-19th century, when Bengal Renaissance had been firmly established, Bidda Shagur was the first who sought to reform Hindu Orthodox society. His biggest contribution in this regard was the introduction of widow remarriages in Hindu society. Apart from championing the upliftment of women, Bidda Shagur also reformed the educational system in Bengal, making it accessible to the common man. He simplified the Bengali alphabet, removing Sanskrit elements from it. His work, Borno Purichoy, Character Identification, continues to be regarded as a classic. However, scholarly debates about the social reformer and his work are common. Was he truly a Hindu in his endeavour to reform the traditional Hindu social structure? Did he really reform Bengali literature or was he merely an imitator? These questions have been raised about the historical legacy of Bidda Shagur for years. But what is never disputed is the immense hold Bidda Shagur, his work and his life have had on Bengalis. The site of the college was originally conceptualized as Calcutta Training School in 1859 by Bidda Shagur, when he was the principal of Sanskrit College. In 1864, Bidda Shagur renamed it Metropolitan Institution. Historian Shumit Sharkar claims that the idea was to provide cheaper education to the more indigent among the Bhadrulok. And it is the first native college in Asia, run by a native and uh, taught by a native, totally. Because it's my British college, the natives they don't know, for the natives, it was the first college which was being formed. Although its application for affiliation to Calcutta University was initially turned down by the British in 1864, the exceptional results of the students in 1871 made them change their minds, granting the college affiliation in 1872. <laughs> In 1917, about two decades after its founder passed away, the college was renamed Bidyashagur College to pay homage to the social reformer and to remind everyone of his legacy.